measure the width of the cover and cut the gutter two inches longer. Place the gutter over the end of the panels with one inch overhang on each side. Fasten it to the top of the panels using number 10 by half inch sheet metal screws through each roof panel interlock. Do not fasten the bottom yet. Install the gutter plugs at each end of the gutter using generous amounts of caulking. On larger covers, the front gutter must be spliced. Apply a generous amount of caulk to the inside ends of the gutter to be spliced. Place the splice so that it is evenly centered between the two gutters. Fasten the splice by using six number 14 by 3 quarter inch sheet metal screws on the back side of the gutter. Place the second gutter over the splice and butt it squarely with the other section. Measure from the house to the outside of the front gutter. Save this measurement as you will need it again for the side fascia. Subtract one quarter inch and transfer this mark to the side gutter. Make another mark back three inches. Cut the gutter to length and then notch the side gutter where it will meet with the front gutter. To determine the length of the side fascia, Measure the front rafter tails. Add this to the measurement you saved from the side gutter. Add two more inches for the width of the front fascia. This will give you the overall length for the side fascia. Cut the side fascia to this length. Join the side gutter and side fascia. Fasten together from the back of the gutter. Use the number 14 tech screws every two feet on alternate from top to bottom. Make sure the notch is toward the front of the cover and set the side wrap in place and attach using the number 10 sheet metal screws 12 inches on center. Underneath drill a 5 8 inch hole through the side gutter to the roll form hanger and use a number 10 sheet metal screw. Install the 5 8 inch plug. Fold the corner wrap along all the seams except for the top two. Slide the corner wrap up from the bottom corner and fold over the top the two tabs. Fasten them using two number 8 tech screws. Fasten at the bottom through the holes using two number 8 tech screws. To have the rafter tails match the side fascia, it's important that the front gutter be square with the side fascia. Use a speed square to adjust the front gutter and then fasten the gutter through each roof panel. Make sure to leave at least one inch room for the water to drain off the roof panel into the gutter. Measure between the two side fascias. Cut the front fascia to this dimension. Lay out for the rafter tails on the front fascia, approximately 24 inches on center. Adjust as necessary to make all the spaces equal. Pre-drill the 2x6 rafter hanger with three quarter inch holes. Fasten to the front of the fascia with two number 10 sheet metal screws in the top and bottom holes. Do not use the center hole yet. Set the front fascia in place and use number 10 by 2 inch screws through the center hole into the front gutter. Install the rafter tails over the rafter hangers and fasten with two number eight painted tech screws on each side. Secure all end caps with one number eight tech screw through the top of the header or the rafter. 